Hello, how you doing? Look, we're going to make this today, which is uh, like a dal, Ethiopian style, uh, atta alicha. Really, really delicious and very, very simple. I'll be trying to use my limited Amharic to explain a few ingredients as we go along. That's it. Let's get on with it. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, so I've got three cups here of chana, or you could use yellow split peas. Chana kind of keep their shape a little bit more than the peas. The peas will kind of go to a bit more of a mush. So cook them, wash them off, cook them. It'll take about sort of 10 minutes to boil away. Two cups of tomato, one cup of onion, two teaspoons of salt and turmeric, fresh chili to taste. I mean, you can see the amount I've got there. That's up to you. And here I've got a tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. If you want, you could just use ginger or just garlic. So in Amharic, this is atta, timotin, shinkut, chow, erd, karia. Ned shinkut is garlic, which actually translates to white onion. And in my case, because I'm using ginger, gingerbread. We're going to add some oil and water to this. Very simple, delicious. So I've got my pan there. Now I'm not going to add oil yet. We are adding oil, but in many cases in... Ethiopian cooking you would add the onions in first and just cook them for four to five minutes just to kind of dry them out and give them a little browning then you add the oil so they've just dried out just a little bit we're now going to add oil I'm using olive oil like 100 ml the word for Oil in Amharic is zait. To that we're going to add the garlic and the ginger. And we're going to cook for three minutes. Now the tomato or timotim. Also going to add the salt and the turmeric or the chow and the herd five to six minutes now we want to really cook these tomatoes down stir often nice those tomatoes are breaking nicely next up we're going to get in our yellow split peas chana or atta cooked already like I said boiled this for about 10 minutes give them a nice wash and boil away just about three or four minutes stirring just want to kind of incorporate this together and then we're going to be adding some water wonderful now I'm going to add my chili now or the curry and now Many people would only add it right near the end or just on top, but I'm going to get mine in now so it kind of works its magic and kind of gives it a little bit more of a boost. But like I say, yeah, some people would uh, just serve it at the end. In fact, once it's actually served, they'll just put them on top, like pretty much whole on top there. But if you want an extra spice like me, get them in. Now, water. Cold water I'm using. And quite a lot, look. That's a litre of water there. The word for water in Amharic is wuha. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cook this. It's probably going to take about 10 or 15 minutes now. And it's going to reduce down. The water's going to evaporate. And it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, so you can see that's evaporated out a great deal. You can go even more if you want. I like it at this consistency. You could dry it out a bit more if you want. Off goes the heat. Check that for salt. We've done it. It's really simple and it's delicious. And there we have it. Very, very easy. Really tasty. You can have that with some injera or something like that if you want. If, if not, you could have it with some rice or something. Very simple. Vegan, vegetarian, delicious. I hope you enjoy that. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love. I'm a Saganala. 
thanks a lot for getting to the end of the video if you'd like to give me a thumbs up that does help us out quite a lot with the algorithm and such like subscribe if you like you'll get notified about what we're doing there's a thanks button if you want to donate see you soon